Well, there's two actually. This one is the Ma Maverick Lodge, and it's right in the centre of the old part with many bars and restaurants. Um, it's really an amazing location. And when I came here on Friday at about half past four, I was welcomed with uh, great open arms at the reception. And I mentioned I wanted to go to uh, Shoshone, which is the largest uh, spa, and they give you a free towel, which is really cool. So that was a good start. On reception, the staff are incredibly helpful and always smiling, speak very good English, which is very good because I find Hungarian a, a very difficult language to even read, let alone say. So um, it's very good. They've got lots of information. They have uh, free wine tasting two or three times a week. That tends to lead on to a, um, a pub crawl to the ruin pubs and there's one ruin, I wouldn't call it a pub, there's a ruin complex just two minutes away. It's the biggest, I believe, in Budapest and it was, it is incredible. I'll talk more about that later. bunk beds mine was uh, the bottom one luckily there's uh, six bunks in a room really well ventilated uh, the beds are incredibly sturdy not like these metal ones that you see sometimes uh, there's a lot of space at the side of your bed to put um, whatever you want which to pick up on the dorms are separated into mixed and female dorms the the layout and the decor is, is incredible. I think this place is about six years old. When you get off the bus and you, you're walking towards the hostel, you will come across this street and this little shop which is a, a convenience shop and then you are actually where you need to be Kinizli Uter. This is the street that you're going to be walking down to find the hostel and rather luckily Fat Mama which is the restaurant next door is the, the sign that you can really aim at and then once you see that you'll know you're going to be the hostel, and this is the hostel, this is the hostel building, it's quite impressive. So there you go, it's really quite easy to find. Uh, the entrance is just here. As you... And looking back, there's the shop. And then just down there is uh, the ruin bar, which is absolutely incredible, and the caravan, which is outside uh, food, stalls, uh, particularly in the evening. So this is really quite easy to find. that you get for seven euros uh, you get unlimited coffee orange juice um, you can have scrambled egg bacon ham and eggs croissants fruit muesli vegan sandwiches and a range of coffees My name is 
my Korean name is Jimin, my English name is Julie, and I'm from South Korea, traveling in Budapest with her. <laughs> my name is Suji, I am also from South Korea, and this is the third day of my trip in Budapest. Okay, and how are you enjoying the hostel? It's one of the best places I've stayed in, like as a budget, on mm. a budget, you know? Um, very clean and comfy beds, except if you have a bunker bed, like on the second floor, the steps are kind of like too steep and high. Yeah, they are. So I think I climbed up like 12, almost 10 to 12 steps that are like this steep up. <laughs> so if you hadn't had like the energy at the end of the day, then maybe that would be down. So bon bottom bunk beds are always better, I think. Yeah, I would, I would have wanted one, but if you want the bottom one, the reception said that you would need to tell them like earlier on. There's all, also curtains. You got the curtains, yeah. And you're in a mixed. Yes, I'm in a. And you're in a. a, a I was in the female. In the female dorm, so there's a different. Okay. Uh, and do you find the whole place quite clean? In the yes. bathrooms and. Spotlessly clean. Yeah. 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 And location. I mean, it's pretty central, isn't it? What, have you found it kind of easy to get around? Yeah. <laughs> Reaching here by bus or train, it's about 30 minutes by public transport from Kaleri Station, and it's a 10-minute walk from the nearest subway station. Yeah. So it's pretty good. And uh, the staff on the reception and, and the kind of the general area, do you find that um, kind of relaxing and good, yeah. lots of information? Very much. And the reception people, very kind, very friendly, very welcoming. I really like the service. Uh, it's nice that there is two people in the reception because most hostels tend to have only one people, one person. One person, yeah. Oh yeah, and like the reception is like 24 hours, so mm. that's convenient. If you're like coming by a like night plane or night flight or a night train, then for example in Airbnb or anything, you wouldn't be able to do like a late check-in no. most of the time. So. You can do a late check-in. Mm. And are you using the kitchen for breakfast? We haven't, but we've been. Yeah. Uh, but it was like a really huge uh, place for a kitchen and many, many tables. And like the walls were filled with post-its yeah, from so like all the travelers. Yeah, yeah I like that. And I was, I was told that there's food actually supplied, basic food supplied in the fridges that you can use, so that's... Yeah. Well, there was milk. Yeah, there was milk and we didn't really look too closely, but you can look, you can bring your own food with like a post-it note, like saying... Okay, yeah, that's oh, yeah. mine. Yeah. Keep your hands off. Yeah, your name and then, <laughs> and then apparently you need to write the departure date as well so that oh, yes, like, if you can, leave, then the clean lady can, can yeah, throw it away. Get well. rid of it. Mm -hmm. So overall, good experience. Um, yeah, you'd, for the Maverick, you'd, you'd, you'd stay there again. Yeah, I yeah. would. I would definitely, definitely stay. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. It feels more like a hotel than a hostel. It does. Yeah. I agree. Mm -hmm. It does. Yeah, and the, the and the washrooms are like pretty big, and the toilets and the showers are separated. The showers are huge. I yeah, thought you could yeah, get a yeah. football team in there. It's yeah. just, you know, <laughs> and really. there's a there's a sink with the toilet and then there's a sink in the shower and there's a separate sink as well oh, so you that's could like for the ground yeah. floor. Oh is it? Yeah. No, it's oh, just so slightly different I think probably. Oh uh, um, okay. So yeah. for the ground floor ones they have a sink everywhere. I actually planned my Budapest trip for two days and decided I wanted to stay in the city one more day so I made two bookings. I stayed in the ground floor for the first day and on the first floor and the difference is the ground floor is only for the female dormitory. So you share a really huge bathroom for the six bed female dormitory and eight bed female dormitory. So the bathrooms are much larger. <laughs> but on the first floor, there's a smaller, about half a size bathroom in the end of the corridor so it is not really connected to your no. dormitory. Yeah. So, you so on the first day you stayed at the 8th bed and then the second day is the 6th bed? Yes. Mm -hmm.
Sounds good. Mm. Well, thank you very much. I think that's, I, I agree with you. Um, it's, it's a really good place and uh, certainly and get a good... free wine tasting. Free wine tasting, yeah. On Friday night. And, and uh, pub crawls and lots of other... And they do free bike... Uh, well, they do for, uh, bike hire and just about everything else, don't they? So it's, it's and I think they do like a pickup service. Too. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Well, thank you very much indeed. And uh, it's really good. Thanks for your time. So the Maverick Lodge has uh, great options for dormitories, um, there's female ones, there's private ones, um, there's the whole range basically, mixed ones. I've been in a mixed one and I found it really fine, really good. And uh, generally speaking I've had four nights here and it's been really good. The location's in the Jewish Quarter, uh, it's close to everywhere, you can basically walk anywhere you want to get to and even across the, the, the bridges to the castle over the Danube. It really doesn't take that very long at all. It's been a really good experience. Uh, the staff have been incredibly helpful. You've got bike hire, they'll arrange transfers. Um, they do some things in the evenings to bring everybody together. Uh, what else do they do? They just, uh, yeah, make everybody's stay really comfortable and really enjoyable. Uh, you can leave your luggage there also, like I have, because I'm...